Hey Scorpios, welcome to Vivid Vibration Tarot. My name is Christina. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I'm using this little mic here because I feel like the mic that was on my phone before was really just like catching up all of the catching all of the excess noise around me um, so I'm trying to kind of eliminate a little bit of that because I like being outside and I've gotten so many comments about being outside and thank you guys for watching and subscribing and liking and commenting it just like means so much to me um, but Scorpios let's see what we have for y'all we have the Gnosis and the sustainer the healer and the desert and the crone <clears throat> Scorpios, I kind of get this, this energy of like review, you know, reviewing your life, reviewing your relationships, reviewing how things play out, you know, like repeatedly in life and a desire to really break away from that cycle but feeling a little bit like you're not sure how you can heal something without hurting it is what I want to say. You know, there's just this idea of, of feeling like, I don't know. I mean, the, the desert is the idea of a mirage and, and things not really seeming real or tangible. And, and I feel like when you look back over the cycle, you, you are, you are thinking this should have worked and this should have worked and this should have worked and this should have worked, but it wasn't working. Why? And I feel like as you go through this review, you're picking up little pieces of information along the way that are helping you to have a better understanding of all of the reasons why this idea of, of what it was that you were trying to accomplish wasn't totally like like what were the missing ingredients you know I feel like you're uncovering the missing ingredients okay scorps let's see what else we can get for y'all <laughs> I hope everyone is doing well Scorpios. All right. Oh, we have quite a few cards here. Okay. We have the devil, the high priestess, and the six of wands, the empress, and the nine of pentacles, the queen of hearts, and the three of cups. Again, Scorpios, you know, I feel like this has just been in your reads consistently for a while now, and I think maybe it's just like this energy that we've been you know, like going through and, and, you know, like the eclipse is happening this week. And I, again, it's just kind of like this, this idea of like a purge, you know, of all of the energies that we need to get rid of. And I feel like part of that is understanding, you know, like where, where the issues lie. Um, because, uh, I feel like you just f feel like you're on strings, you know, like being pulled in these directions that, that you're like, those aren't like, those are directions that I feel like they don't really seem to work. And I don't know why they're not working because, you know, like they're supposed to be doing this, but in reality they're doing that. And, you know, like what's the issue here? Um, same message, right? But I think that you're uncovering, again, uncovering this, this, understanding to the questions that you have and really being swept up and in, in pulling yourself up out of these cycles and into you know like the status of a, of a higher understanding so that you're able to do something that you really are excited about that you love that you're like okay yes like this feels I just feel like it feels a lot more free. I feel like there's just been this question of what is it that you really love, Scorpio? And and focus on that. You know what I mean? And I think that you've just been really focused on everybody else to the point where 
it feels like this manipulative energy but I think that you understand that it's like it's it's not you know like part of that is like well maybe the issue is that you're feeling like people are manipulating you when they're not do you know what I mean like because I think that this this whole like this energy like the purpose of this energy is to like remove any of the limitations that we have with ourselves so that we are able to better engage in relationships with people and and here's the thing about relationships it's not a popular concept right um but we can only love others as much as we love ourselves and so in a relationship the first person in any relationship should always be you right because if you are full then you are able to fill others if the people around you are full then they are able to in turn you know fill with it's it's this like giving and giving and giving right but you're giving to yourself first and i think a lot of the issue is has been that you're like but i'm i have to do this and i have to do that and why aren't you know like why isn't anybody you know like happy with this um and I feel like part of it is this idea of like expectation, right? Um, because when somebody does something for you and then they're like, um, which not all Scorpios, cause my dad would never do this, but like <laughs> sometimes, you know, like when, when a Scorpio does something for somebody, they'll be, they'll, they'll be there to also remind them that if they hadn't done that, things would have gone a lot differently, you know, which feels very you just did that so that you could hold it over my head or you just did that so that you could feel superior or like feel in power or feel whatever you know what I mean like like that's kind of like what that feels like you know of you know like you're helping and you're sustaining but you're holding it over somebody's head um or vice versa you know you're on the other side of the story and 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 somebody helped you and they're holding it over your head, um, you know, but whatever it is, it just feels like an ick energy and it feels like an ick energy that's really being like pulled out of you, you know, because like you don't get to say, I did this for you when you're talking about how if you hadn't been there, da, 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 like, no, you did it all. That was for you. That was for your own ego. That was for your own sense of controlling other people because you feel like you got to grasp onto that control wherever it is right um and Scorpios I love y'all you know like I, I'm not trying to be like I hate Scorpios because I actually fucking love Scorpios I'm in Scorpio Mars you know what I mean like I get it but also like it's just like it's not okay and it it affects your relationships it affects your workplace environments it affects your friendships you know what I mean um and I think that there are a lot of people who feel manipulated. And I think a, lo a lot of people who feel frustrated and fed up. But, yeah, Scorpios. I know that's not pleasant. That's not a pleasant thing to hear. And, you know, like, I don't think that it dictates your character entirely, you know. But they can overpower it. And I think that it's overpowered it for a while now. And it feels like that's the one thing that's being pulled out of you right now. Like you're being forced to face it. Scorpios. Knight of Cups and the Fool. The Sun, the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Hanged Man. Um, you know, I think that there has been this, you know, while yes, there's been a sense of, you know, like, how can I, like, how does this keep happening and let me understand and da, 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 you have again been finding the, like the treasures along the way, you know, so that you know that like, at least I know I've been working, at least I know that I've been trying to figure it out so that. You know, when it when it's time for all of this to come out, 
I'll be ready for it. You know what I mean? I feel like a sense of preparation um, because while what you're going through <clears throat> through right now might feel very painful, I think that it, it will land you on the other side of your happiness and you'll see things very differently when you are able to really step back and see why things weren't working and, and how you had a part in that. Um, cause you know, knowledge is power and all that shit. <laughs> all right, Scorps, let's see what else we can get for y'all. King of Pentacles. Yes, because you like, five of wands. Well, I feel like saying you have a lot, a lot of, you know, like a wealth of stature and understanding and knowledge. But, you know, with the five of wands here, I feel like, again, it's just that message of like, but if you're using it to, you know, like lord your power over people or push people around or screw people over, you know, like, I don't know, like I, I worked with this one guy and he, he was a Scorpio rising, but you know, he would like, he would get mad at people and like cut their hours and, you know, like follow people around. And it's like, dude, why don't you focus on your own fucking job that you really suck at instead of worrying about what I would, about what everybody else is doing? You know what I mean? It's funny because I think that the last woman that I worked with was probably a Scorpio rising too. It was the same shit with her, you know, <laughs> but it's like, like just this, just this, like this manipulative, like power trip that feels like just emotional manipulation all of the time. Um, and, and yet somehow these people feeling like they're doing all these things for all these people. And you're like, what are you doing exactly? You know what I mean? And I feel like that's just an energy that you've been dealing with. And you've been dealing with like a lot of the, the repercussions of that too. Um, oof. Okay, Scorps. I don't know. I feel like this is like the purge, right? Like getting it all out. The cave. Yes, because you want to be more intimately aware of yourself. Because you're never going to be able to form like the, the level of intimacy in other relationships that you're looking for if you can't be intimately aware of yourself. And that means acknowledging your own bullshit, right? Um and nobody wants to do it. And everybody has their own bullshit. This is not a, an attack on you, Scorpio, as a sign or as an individual. Like, it's just a recognition of the process. Um, you know, and it's a painful process. And it's a painful process for all of us. <laughs> but anyways, Scorpios, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Thank you so much for all of your views and all of your likes and all of your comments. Um, you know, I hope this resonates with you and that you are coming out on the other side with this purged awareness of self that allows you to engage in the intimacy that you long for and that you deserve. Um, if this video does resonate with you, please give me a like, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.